Along with the release of Min Min, the newest update to Smash Ultimate brought the version 8.0.0 Balance Patch. Unlike some smaller previous patches, 8.0 delighted many players with its abundant buffs of many mid and low tier characters. While most didn't change much in the metagame, some characters were at least drawn out of obscurity with buffs that inspired players to dust off these forgotten heroes. Among these is the Echo Fighter combo of Pit and Dark Pit, two virtually identical characters who hardly ever get chosen in Smash Ultimate. In fact, Event Hubs list them as the 60th most chosen character in the game. But are the pits bad? Why don't people play them? And what's really changed in version 8.0? We'll cover all of that in a moment, but first, our question of the day. When you choose to play a pit, do you opt for regular pit or dark pit? Let us know down in the comments and stay tuned to learn more about these often slept on angels. For detailed guides on pit, dark pit, and every character in the game, you can check out our website, ProGuides.com. We've got in-depth course programs to help you learn everything about the game, and you can take it even further by picking up a personal coach with our InstaPro feature. You can also check out our live classes stream daily to learn more and play with pros. The energetic Angel Pit made his debut in 1986's Kid Icarus on the NES. The young hero was tasked with rescuing Angel Land and its familiar ruler, Palutena. Pit wields his trusty bow on a quest to collect three sacred treasures and defeat Medusa. Interestingly, his name Pit actually comes from the Japanese pronunciation of Cupid. Despite not appearing in a mainline Kid Icarus game since 1991, Pit was featured as a newcomer in Super Smash Bros. Brawl back in 2008. His easy-to-use multi-hit moves made him a popular pick among casual players, but he fell short competitively winding up in mid-tier. Fast forwarding to 2012, the Kid Icarus series was revived with Kid Icarus Uprising on the 3DS, directed and written by Masahiro Sakurai himself. Uprising introduced the edgy doppelganger of Pit, Dark Pit. Pit returned in Smash 4, along with Dark Pit, who played as a clone character of Pit with very subtle differences. Both Pits received moveset changes from Brawl, with a new side, up and down special. Finally, in Smash Ultimate, the Pits both returned, now as Echo Fighters of each other. Although they remained in mid-tier throughout Smash 4, Ultimate Pits found themselves ranking even lower as the meta progressed. A lack of kill power, inconsistent hitboxes, and limited combos perpetuated their stereotype as bland, boring characters with little to offer. The pits aren't useless by any means, however. When optimized, they have decent early percent combos, solid movement, reliable whiff punishing with dash attack and dash grab, and capable edge guarding thanks to their multiple double jumps and far-flying recovery. As with many lower tier characters in Ultimate, a big factor in their lack of success comes from a lack of representation. Kiraflax and Lucky still continue to push the characters, but such a small player base can only do so much, especially with a weaker character. Leading up to the new update, the pits have received a few quality of life changes. In version 3.1, Up Smash was made to connect better into itself. They could probably stand to buff that property again. In version 4.0, Jab 1 became 1 frame faster, Up Tilt became 2 frames less laggy, Back Air lost 3 frames of landing lag, Down Smash was made slightly stronger, and the Spike hitbox of Dare received more base knockback. Now with the release of Patch 8.0, both pits received some arguably more substantial buffs. Starting with Down Tilt, this move received less knockback and a more favorable combo angle. Although Down Tilt was already a combo starter for the pits, the changes will make it easier to connect follow-ups like Up Air, Forward Air, and Up Smash, potentially leading to kill confirms with Up Air if the opponent fails to DI the Down Tilt. The next change is an increase in knockback to the last hit of Up Smash. The pits will often use their Up Smash as a combo follow-up at early percents, and at kill percents it becomes a KO option used to punish landings thanks to its multiple hits. The knockback increase will naturally make this move more effective at closing out stocks, but it's still fairly weak as far as most up smashes go and tends to be inconsistent with opponents sometimes falling out before the last hit. The buff to down smash simply changes the angle of the front hit's knockback. Down smash was not a particularly strong move to begin with, but this change at least puts the opponent further off stage, leaving more potential for edge guards. The pit's up air is most likely their most buffed move in this patch. Up air is a multi-hit aerial that seems designed to juggle and kill in the way that Palutena's up air does, but slow startup, high end lag, and weak knockback made this move mediocre in almost every way. Fortunately, version 8.0 improved just about everything when it comes to Pit and Dark Pit's up air. 
The move now comes out 2 frames faster, has 9 frames shaved off of its end lag, auto cancels 2 frames earlier, launches at a more vertical angle, and has higher knockback growth. With these changes, up air is now a more reliable juggling option. It still doesn't match Palutena's in terms of ladder combos, but the large reduction in end lag creates new frame trap opportunities when opponents avoid up air by air dodging. Having a more vertical angle makes it harder to escape juggles by DIing and drifting away, and slightly aids in KO potential as well. The increased startup speed complements the down tilt buffs, making it easier to combo down tilt into up air at kill percents. Speaking of kill percents, this move now KOs earlier as well, but it still isn't particularly strong. What's an angel compared to a goddess anyway, right? Now for clearly the most important change. The pit's getup attack now matches the end lag of the rest of the casts. I'm sure you'll notice this immediately. Anyway, last but not least, 8.0 shaved 5 frames of cooldown off of the pit's down special. The Guardian Orbiters is a rather unique special move that spawns two shields around the pits to protect them from almost any angle, reflecting projectiles in the process. Pit players will often use this move when drifting down above the ledge, as it will block pretty much any attack. The counterplay to this has always been to wait for Pit to drop the Orbiters, which he'll need to do eventually and punish the end lag. With the new buffs though, it's much harder to punish the lag on this move, and the pits can descend lower when using this move offstage and still make it back. The Orbiter buff also makes B-reversal movement with this move more practical as a mix-up and disadvantage, which can be very useful to tank or dodge powerful hits when landing. So those are quite a few changes, but what do they really mean for the Angelic Echo Fighter duo? On the surface, the pits are absolutely better. Many interactions will now lead to KOs that previously would not have, their advantage state is stronger, and their disadvantage state is safer. All of this is very slight, however. The pits are very much the same characters that they were before the patch. They still struggle to kill, they still have inconsistent hitboxes, and they still lack that explosive potential that better characters possess. In the grand scheme of things, this patch may help the pits more in terms of attention than anything. Whenever a character gets buffed, many more players will try them out to experiment with the changes. In the best case scenario, players who drop the character may pick them back up, and new players will be more likely to pick them up from the get-go. This all leads to more representation, which leads to the progression of the character's metagame and the unleashing of their full potential. Sadly, the writing is on the wall for the peak of what the current version of Pit and Dark Pit can become, but we've yet to see the character pushed all the way there, as is evidenced by the dedicated Pit mains who remain passionate about continuing to improve with the character. Earlier this month, we even saw Gaia win an MSM online event, one of the largest online weekly tournaments with Dark Pit, truly showing the benefits of both the balance changes and the spotlight on the character that this patch brought. In patch version 8.0.0, Pit and Dark Pit remain highly fundamental characters with no blatant strengths or weaknesses, leaving them to remain the poster children for the honest character definition. Their strengths are now a bit stronger, and their obscurity is clearing up a bit, so hopefully we'll continue to see more great things from Pit and Dark Pit in the near future. I've been your host, G5 Cosmos of Game 5 Smash. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to Pro Guides and turn on notifications, and don't forget to check out our website. Stay safe, have fun, and we'll catch you in another video.